I'm not worried about fighting the bees at the moment. I want to make sure that I get down to where I want to, <laughs> where I want to be, and set up camp. What up, Tiss? Please, please don't unsubscribe and close out of this video. I promise my jokes will get slightly better as the video goes on. Anyway. We finally did a team. We made it back. Against all odds. Uh, repair our bow. Super important. We don't necessarily... Oh, I thought I dropped you. I don't care about the torch. We're not going to repair it. I shouldn't have repaired the padded armor. It wasn't worth it. Torch... I want you out of my out of my possession. I don't want to equip you. I don't want to hit all the wrong buttons either. I'm trying to drop you. Torch, control, left click. Get on the ground. You stay there. I got the fiber that I needed to make the last piece for my armor. We're gonna do that real quick. Uh, Kalev, I I'm going to show you a trick that I always forget. I forget. You hit C, go right to crafting. I do that every time. I go through his talk menu. You might end up doing it too, but it's just, it's our struggles. Full stone. Uh, drop the padded on the ground there. We don't care. And now we are a tanky boy. Well, tankier than we were before, at least. I'm going to put away my firefly torch because it's daytime. And let's get into the build menu. And I should be able to make the stone cutter. Uh, let's put you... It doesn't really matter. We can put you wherever. This isn't a base. This is just an outpost. Right there. Uh, ba -da -ba, we can now make a bunch of stuff. I mentioned the apothecary table earlier. That's refining the berries and stuff into potions. That is um, how we're going to basically increase our stamina. So that's going to be something that we want. Here are the seeds. Seed oil is made from the seeds. We're going to make all of this. Click, click, click. I think I probably shift click and do like all of them. But uh, now we're going to make the refined wood with seed oil and wood. Uh, so, no, shift click doesn't work. I don't know if there's a fast craft. It's something I haven't figured out yet. Now, we're going to make an upgrade to some stuff. Uh, I will want to make the stone hammer. It's very, very good. It's a blunt damage weapon that just destroys the wooden club. But before we get into that, uh, there needs to be an upgrade on the... I think I might have glossed over it. I need to upgrade my hatchet to a crude hatchet. Is that done here at the workbench? Yeah, crude hatchet here. Uh, I could have done this a while ago once I killed my first beetle. No, no, no. I take that back. I needed four chitin. Never mind. I can now make the crude hatchet because I've killed the, enough beetles on our little adventure here just recently. Brought the chitin back, and now I can chop down some of the moth plants, but I'm a little shy on the wood. So we got to go out and get that because it's turned most of it into the refined wood. Uh, this is the intermediate upgrade between wood and then flint. Flint is stronger. We got there eventually. I was misremembering, but we got there eventually. I want to get the wood really quickly to make that hatchet so that I can cut down the little moth plants. So I'm going to run and try to gather some twigs. All right, we're cruising now. We got plenty of wood. Uh, first things first, our crude hatchet. That's what we came here for. Ba -ba -da -ba, using our four chitin. This is very good use of the four chitin. Uh, okay, we put that on our hottie bee. I want to drop this hatchet later somewhere uh, a little bit different. And when we got the honey crumbles, a storm is approaching. Ruh -ruh. We got the honey crumbles. We unlocked the ability to make the better band-aids. So we're going to do that. And... Uh, I'm going to probably stop making... I'm going to try not to use them, but I'm going to probably stop making the simple band-aids for now. Unless... No, no, no. I lied to you. I'm going to make five more just to have in stock. I'm going to save the better band-aids until I can get a better stash of honey crumbles. There we go. I feel more uh, confident about that. This should still mark ourselves as shelter. Yeah, I'm sheltered. I might be able to sleep through the storm. No, I can't sleep. Okay. If we need to, we could just hide under there. Very crude, but it, it works. Our stone hammer will replace our club. This is really good for smashing beetles and pumpkins. <laughs> and that is going to do us for now when it comes to gear. Next... We're going to want to make a cauldron. 
for making advanced cook foods and the stuff to tame, uh, as well as an apothecary table. But I need bark for that, which is found in the same place as flint. We're going to go next. And then the tannery. So what we can do is hold off on the cauldron and take this road on the show after the storm passes. We'll take this road on the show and start heading for uh, the, the unlocking of Flint. Flint is required and Bark is required for the next tier, which I just talked about. And this is what I spent a large portion of time on stream doing was wandering around looking for Flint. But I know where to go, so I'm not going to waste your time here in the video series. What we are going to do is just hunker down and try to wait out this storm. And once it passes, the cash cab rolls on. The storm is gone, the skies are clear, and we're on the move again. We're moving to the south because that is the next pattern, uh, pattern, the next area that we need to advance to. That's where the next set of gatherable resources are for us to unlock new stuff. So we were here at Kalev, we picked up everything that we had there, we left nothing behind. So you'll notice that my bed isn't uh, marked on the map anymore over here. The spawn point has been reset to like the default starter area in case I die. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. We're going to work our way down here to Scotty, and then Scotty is going to give us a quest down here on the beach. And on the beach is Flint, which we need now, uh, and Bark. Lots of Flint, lots of Bark on the beach, and new enemies. Those new enemies are, are pretty tough, so we got to make sure that we advance to the next tier of armor just as quickly as we can. I mean, you knew that was coming, right? New NPC, new armor set. Yeah, you betcha. There also, I mean, you may have noticed this as well. There's also Drostana up here at the top. We need to get uh, like a loom before we can advance to the Drostana tier. We are currently in the process of working our way up to the tannery because we need flint and uh, the refined wood. Refined wood's no problem, but the flint is where we, uh, where we need to gather. After that, we'll encounter sp spiders Spooters, and then likely refine that silk via a loom or the the raw spider silk will allow us to make the loom to refine further anywho downward we go to the south passing all of these wasp nests and the deadly beetles i need to actually kill beetles but oh no no i had the i didn't roll ah uh, what's happening <laughs> yeah, i forgot that i had the build hammer out and my build button is the same as my dodge button, so therefore when I try to dodge and go into the build menu, uh, things, things happen, unintentional things. I'm not worried about fighting the bees at the moment. I want to make sure that I get down to where I want to, <laughs> where I want to be and set up camp. What up, Tiss? Please, please don't unsubscribe and close out of this video. I promise my jokes will get slightly better as the video goes on. Anyway, we're almost to Scotty. No, I don't think there's too terribly much happening. Like, I'm not seeing any... Uh, I, don't, I don't remember finding any crazy resources along here that were new, and I'm not, like, seeing any screws or bottle caps that um, stand out. It could be picked up. There's poison mushrooms over here at this, like, drainage pipe, though. Uh, it's like a water spigot or something. Oh, that water is... I, didn't, I never stopped here before. We could do cooking stuff with poison mushrooms. If we need them, we'll come back. There's... Plenty of places to get poison mushrooms. And there's some strawberries up here for the apothecary. But just beyond those strawberries, you see like a weird skull. I don't think it's a cow's skull or anything like that. But that's Scotty. That's his base. And that's where we want to be. So since we're so close, we're just going to keep powering through. Yeah, I don't... Maybe... It's not much in the way of antlers, but maybe it's like a deer skull. I, I don't know what kind. I mean, let me know in the comments if you know, if you're an avid hunter and you know what kind of skull that is. But um, based on the antlers or horns, I don't I don't know what that is. I don't think it's a cow skull. We're going to tag this owl effigy because it talks about taming creatures here and treats. He's got a grasshopper like trapped in there. I don't know if we can tame that trapped grasshopper. I may try when I've got an abundance of trees, just a free grasshopper lives here for taming. I don't know if we could get him out, because he's locked in there pretty good. Anyway, Scotty, what's up? Nice to meet you. Name's Scotty. Okay, we tell him about the quest. He says, I'll help you if you help me, essentially. And he gives us a quest to kill a rhino beetle. I'll take care of it. 
So now that we've got that quest, we'll talk to Scotty and see what armor he can make, and he can make two primal armor and chitin armor. I'm gonna just skip over the primal armor because the chitin armor offers like slightly more protection. I think it's literally like one. Uh, and I feel like edged resistance versus blunt resistance. I don't know a lot of creatures that do like blunt attacks. Maybe maybe the, the lizards do blunt attacks, but I feel like pierce and edge might be the most most common. But anyway, the whole reason I'm getting armor is to be tanky, and that stat is protection. So we're going to stick with um, expending our precious resources on just high protection stuff. Now that we've got the quest, though, we're going to parkour our way down from Scotty. Uh, or I, we're going to get totally stuck in Scotty's base area. <laughs> here, now we're going to parkour down. Go this way. And we want to work our way down here towards the beach. You can see there's like a little... Um, roasting spit down here that's got some fish. You can't really see it from far away, but it's got some fish bones on it. That's more or less where we want to go. That's where the rhino beetle is at, and that's where we're going to set up our next outpost. You met Blackberry. The reason why we're going to do that is because everything we need is going to be like right down in that area, and we're going to be living there for a little bit. After that, though, after that outpost has... I'm just casually talking as this beetle tries to murder me. After that outpost has more or less served its purpose, we're going to start doing some actual base stuff. And I had alluded to this slightly before uh, about how there's like a really neat base mechanic. Don't worry. Well, as we get deeper and deeper into this video series, I'm going to talk more and more about it. But we're not quite there yet, so we're going to save that for another video. So stay tuned to the series for, for more on that. But I think you'll like it, because I really like it. After playing a ton of survival games, uh, they're practically the bread and butter of Nerd Parade survival games. I um, I really like this feature, so I'm excited to show it off. I think, it, I think Small Land did a really good job of it. So this is why we made the hammer. Uh, I also didn't make a chest yet for that. But this is why we made the hammer. Because these beetles are weak to blunt-based attacks. And that works out really good for us. So we're just gonna scooch over here next to the water. Whip out our amazing torch because um, it's so much better than the fire-related one. And you know what? I'm gonna go over here. There's a beetle that spawns over here consistently and I don't want him to just casually raid my base. Is he gonna follow me? No, water bug's not gonna follow me. All right, here we go. Up this little rock. This is going to be the location of my outpost for now. Rhino beetle, right there. Right there is our rhino beetle. So let's let's begin. First things first, build uh, foundations. We'll put down a foundation. And I'll make an actual base-ish. Base-ish structure. Because I should have enough resources to do so. Just a very... rudimentary, like... We'll do two by three or three by three, something like that. Enough to house my stuff so it doesn't get damaged by the elements. Hey, right, let's go three by three. I have this. I think I have this stuff. And if you're, if you have been curious about the building mechanics, we're gonna dive into it just a little bit here. Uh, you'll notice that it's pretty similar to like Ark Survival Evolved. The uh, building mechanics function very similar to the Ark, in my opinion. Which is, it's not a, not a bad thing. We'll just do some basic walls. I'm not going to get fancy with the windows. This is an outpost structure. This thing exists literally just to protect me and the uh, the stuff I'm going to put inside it from the elements so it doesn't get damaged and require repairs. Uh, we'll do just a casual roof structure here. Oh, I can't do... Uh, I don't have... I, don't, I haven't unlocked that yet. Okay, that's fine. I don't have the, the angled walls yet. I'm getting a bit ahead of, ahead of myself. So let's do some fancy ceilings. And by fancy ceilings, I mean roof tiles. There's that. Oh, insufficient materials. Man, I knew it was going to happen. What is it? Fiber that I'm missing? Yeah, it's got to be fiber because I got the wood. That's okay. We're not going to plop anything down yet. Because that stuff's all going to get damaged. Except a bed, just in case, right? That'd be smart. 
lost that. That should be enough to make a bed. There we go. We don't want to have to run all the way back. Just in case. I could have put it under the, the, <laughs> the tile with the roof on it, but no, I wanted it in the corner where it would get wet. I like to sleep in soggy places. That's how I roll. We don't want to be under... I was going to say, we don't want to be underwater too long. I might just demonstrate how uh, how easy it is to drown. There we are. I don't think I was using the right weapon. And this is just a free kill. We take those. The water bug is just letting me eat on him. So I was mentioning this earlier about Flint. Here we go. Flint is on the beach. We found Flint Lockwood. It's not raining meatballs. It's just raining regular rain. Now we can make some of our flint tools and weapons. We're going to need them over here. We are going to need them. But this is the real treasure. Bark. If I can hit it. Oh, that's why. Okay, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't read the tool tip. I need the flint before, uh, before I can harvest the bark. We're too far ahead of ourselves. I'm going to avoid this big green beetle because I'm, I'm a little low on health, but just in case, just in case he aggros, put on a band-aid. Oh, that was a dragonfly. Oh, I thought you were a big green beetle. We're much safer than I thought. Although there, there is the Geico gecko, like right in the, right in the back there. And in case you're asking yourself if you can tame the gecko or not, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can tame the gecko. <laughs> right around in style. Hey, Mr. Dragonfly. I think you can actually... Uh, oh, it's a damselfly. You can actually tame those as well, but we're going to kill this. That's not the right thing. Can I hit my right button? Oh, I can't because my inventory is full, right? Yeah. So I have two things equipped. Bow is a two-handed weapon. I've kind of, like, put myself into a, a predicament because I can't, um... Let's see if we can sort it. They really don't do much. They just run. They're very docile. I don't have the, the thing to tame it, but when I do, I'll be able to fly around here. I'm hoping he drops something. She. Damn, will fly. I'm hoping she drops something that I'll be able to use with my full inventory. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> I'm getting really good at missing. There it is. Insect wings, egg, uh, do, 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 do. We take that. Anything I can combine in here? Okay, let's drop the, the goop until, um, I come back. We'll take the insect wings for now. I should have enough fiber to finish off my house. Let's head it back. I realize now that I didn't build the storage box that was allowing me to keep going. My pack rat ways have come to come to bite me in the end. Let's see, I don't think the water bug has respawned. No, he hasn't. We're in the clear. Crossing the dangerous water. There we go. We don't we don't drown. You could build a little bridge there. I, I think it might just be a waste of resources. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go that far as to do that. But we'll put you right here next to the door. Like, no, that's gonna be in the way. We'll put you right here in the corner. It's, now we'll continue building. It was the one I used. I think it was this one. Yeah, it was. Okay, get you in the corner. Get you in the corner. You in the corner. Uh, this one should snap to it. There it goes. Snap for me. There we go. I don't have a wall there, so you're going to have to snap on... Eh, we'll do it over here. We'll make the wall. It's easier to snap it to the wall. Speaking of wall, I couldn't find you. Rotate. Boom. And there we are. One more thing. Right here up at the top. And are you kidding me? <laughs> well, it's mostly sheltered. 
Can I sleep through the night here? Yeah, it, it counts as being sheltered. We just got a, a, a moon hole, a moon roof. This one tile in the center is going to be getting damaged from... I had an idea. Did you see the, like, light bulb go off in my brain just now? This is a the definition of, like, a Bob Ross happy accident. Oh, no. Oh. Cool, we got it. Happy accident. Let's store some stuff. I got the full inventory. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Insect fur, we're not going to use edible mushrooms. Oh, the bottle caps I need, because we're going to make something with that. There. Loot all that. Let's see if I could recenter it a little bit more. But I've got a hearth now. I'm a tiny Viking. Got a hearth in the middle of my home. This was all planned, all part of my master plan. There it is. We love it. Love to see it. All right. Uh, let's see. What do I need for the workbench? More fiber. I've pretty much exhausted my fiber stores. So let's go back for that and continue to gather flint along the way. Store this, store this. Just free up a bunch of stuff in my inventory. I don't think it doesn't matter. Let's just dump what we can. And more fiber for the fiber gods. Pull out my big hammer. I'm almost going to starve to death, so let's eat some simple meals. Sweet. That's another inventory spot freed up. And since we're full health, we're going to take on the big green beetle. With zero stamina, I might ask because I sprinted up to him. He doesn't do much with stone armor. Ah, screw it. Let's just tank its bank. There we go. Give me that chitin. That's what I want. I think it said three chitin is what I got from him, so... Go ahead and tag the wood. And we'll grab these foxtails for the fiber. And I believe foxtails also give me seeds. They do. Hell yeah. Seeds for the seed oil. Turn wood into refined wood. Everything we need for now is going to be right here on the beach. So now it's time for a big gathering mission. I'm going to need a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. We're going to need to gather. We're going to need to murder beetles specifically for chitin so that we can get the chitin armor. And once we get the chitin armor, we will likely go ahead and tackle the rhino beetle. We don't need it. We don't need the chitin armor for the rhino beetle. It just makes it pretty free because you're super tanky. I also want to gather enough flint to make all the flint tools. So let's get to it.
not too shabby of a little gathering run. And as I was like doing a little bit of work on the house here, if you noticed that I horribly messed up this ceiling tile when I was doing the build, uh, and you were screaming at me through the, through the internet, I heard you. Through the magic that is the internet, I heard your pain screams and I saw it and I was like, wait, something here is not like the others. We need to fix it. And here we are, we're, fi we're fixing it. Forgot that I used that tile. There, now our house is all kind of matching. It's made of grass. It doesn't exactly have uh, full protection, but it does do its purpose in stopping the weather from damaging our structures inside. And that's all we need. So with this ready to go, uh, I don't want to, I, th I thought for a second that I need to set my spawn point. I was like, let, let me, let me make sure that I don't need to set my spawn point. We did that already. We got that out of the way. We're good. We can make our, um, our stone crafting bench. Let's get that right there. Just so we have the maximum amount of space. Don't have enough to make the cauldron yet, but we can make uh, our seed oil again. All seed oil, all seeds are made into seed oil now. We're going to make a bunch of refined wood. Uh, I just ran out of wood. Okay. We made all the refined wood that we could. We got a total of eight. We should probably do the flint pickaxe first and foremost. That's what we're going to spend it on. Boom. Done. So now we're getting rid of the mandible pickaxe. The mandible. <laughs> I just think it's fun to say. Mandible. Now that we have the mandible pickaxe out of our inventory, I could have gotten rid of this too. This, too, this as well. Goodbye. Goodbye. Where's my mandible? Goodbye. These are all out of our inventory. We have the flint pickaxe. We have a very easy way to get more wood, and that's through bark, as well as a new material that will allow us to do wood building structures, which is very exciting. So we're going to work on getting the flint hatchet next so I can cut down bigger tree style things. I had to like lift my hand to do the bunny ears. Mark, and now we're going to get spammed, absolutely spammed here for the next 30 seconds of just unlocks, and it's all wood building tier. And that is why I was wanting to get here so quickly to the beach area to get flint and to unlock wood and to get all the cool stuff, because the wood building tier, let me, let me just dive into it really quickly, very briefly. Gives you pillars now. You have uh, triangle or diagonal walls, convex walls. There's just a lot of cool stuff you could do with it. So now that I have this stuff, we can get into other cool things like the advanced rotate part of building. But like I had mentioned, that's going to be uh, done soon with some of the other interesting build mechanics that we're going to uncover after we've... Uh, defeated our rhino beetle. So expect that stuff coming soon. I, I will give you a, a bit of a taste. I really have enjoyed building in uh, small land so far. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. 